Double, double, toil and trouble. Fires burn and cauldrons bubble. Cameras will roll and shutters will twitch. This video here has been bewitched. You turned me into a newt. I got better. Hey folks, Dave here. This week I wanted to do something a little bit Halloween-y, create a Halloween-based image. Um, so I was looking for ghouls, goblins, witches, ghosts, that sort of thing. So I headed over to lootstudios.com, one of my favorite places to get 3D models, hashtag not a sponsor. And I looked through all their uh, available models and just to see if something caught my eye. And this one did a Morgan the Hex Witch. And I thought that was perfect for a Halloween theme model, so I printed it off. And here it is. It's um, smaller than I thought. That's not gonna be good. I wonder if I can use some of that witch magic to make this bigger. Let's give it a try. And there you go. Let's print this sucker up and make ourselves a witch. So here she is, this is Morgan the Hex Witch, and she's rather tall and she has lots of details in her, so I think she's just gonna look great in front of the camera. And when I pop on some of that Photoshop magic, she's gonna look fantastic. So I'm gonna go put her in front of the camera and see what I come up with. All right, we're set up in my shooting bay. I have Morgan here in front of the TV. I've decided this time I'm not going to actually use the TV to display a background. I have this idea of having this big moon on the behind uh, Morgan and like some dramatic clouds and maybe some fog effects. But I think I'm gonna do all that in post. No particular reason why, I just feel like being more Photoshop-y than in camera -y today. So uh, I'm just gonna take a picture of her. Um, what I'm gonna do is do my normal uh, thing with the lights is to take several exposures and just move the light around uh, from spot to spot. And that just allows me to get the highlights in the right spot. One of the reasons why I do that is if I have a camera like this, the spillover um, onto other parts of her, like I just, if I put the light here and I just want the light on the edge, it spills over everywhere. So if I do multiple shots, then I can select the bits I want in post and then combine it to make give the exact light that I want. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. The only other thing I've done here is Morgan is, she sits back a bit. So I just put um, underneath her, just a little um, a little filter there, just so she leans just a little bit forward, just so she looks a little bit better in frame. So I'm gonna take a few shots here and then head over to Photoshop.
Now in Photoshop, I'm gonna start off by combining her all together, getting all those lights in all the right places and then cutting her out of the background so we have a nice background to work with. Then I'm gonna grab a scene that I grabbed on my morning walk. I'm gonna use that as the basis of my background. Then I'm gonna grab a moon from NASA. That moon will slide into there just nicely. Then I'll add in some fog. Fog always has that uh, layer effect. It gets deeper as you go back farther. So I always layer in the fog by putting a bit behind her and then a bit more in front of her. I'm also using some of the fog as a bit of a vignette. And then I'll do some color grading to tie everything all together. And then there you go. There's my final image. And I think it's a knockout. So that concludes our little adventure today. I had a great time making Morgan here and creating some uh, Photoshop magic with her. And if you think about it, I created some real life magic too, because in creating Morgan a few days ago, all she was was a little bit of 3D resin goo and some paints, just a little bit of liquid and a bit of time in a 3D printer and I was able to create solid art out of it. And I think that's pretty cool. I say farewell until next time. Click that button to like and subscribe. It doesn't matter where you've been. I hope you have a happy Halloween.